I'm back talking about the Fabula Nova Crystallis again. I always enjoy taking a little trip down memory lane. Unfortunately, this trip is revisiting the Final Fantasy Type series, which, if you didn't know, started out as a project for mobile phones called Final Fantasy Ajito 13. It's unfortunate that I'm talking about this series because Square Enix has largely squandered its near limitless potential. When the concept grew from an idea for a single game to an entire series of games, the stage was set for many creators and dev teams within Square Enix to build bold new worlds and visions that could stray from the typical Final Fantasy path without upsetting fans of the mainline entries. Hajime Tabata and his team would be the first to explore this concept with the inaugural entry, Type-0. Early in development, Type-0, as I've mentioned before, went by the name Final Fantasy Ajito 13. This was owing to its original ties to the Final Fantasy 13 game. This version of the game was more focused on traditional mythological story components Final Fantasy as a series has become known for. An example of this early creative direction is found in the few minor plot details we know of Ajito 13. Most notably, the concept of the main characters challenging a god, and probably fate as well. However, after the project was moved from mobile phones to the PlayStation Portable, the scenario for the game was significantly altered, with the final product taking on an entirely new identity. With the game changing so much from its ties to 13, the devs in Square Enix decided to change its name from Ajito 13 to Type 0. Around that same time, Square registered trademarks for Type 1, Type 2, and Type 3. It is apparent that at some point within production of Type 0, Tabata and Square knew they had potential for a spin-off series. Regardless of the vision, Type 0 still had to prove itself. Before full production could ramp up, Tabata was pulled off the project early on and asked to head up the development of Square Enix's The Third Birthday. This divided the dev team and severely limited the amount of work being done on Type-0. According to some of what we know about this period of time, this division nearly led to Type-0 getting cancelled outright. Luckily for us, that didn't happen. Type-0 exists and it didn't disappoint. It allowed the Final Fantasy fanbase to approach a game with a vastly different perspective. Put any other Final Fantasy title against Type-0. There's nothing else in the franchise like it. So, Square Enix has in effect at that point created a proper sub-series within Final Fantasy. The Type series. The Type series as of this video's recording consists of Type-0, a separate phone game titled Ajito, named after the original concept title for the game, as well as some print media tie-ins, what about the other games, you say? Well, they were planned, but then a little thing called Final Fantasy XV happened. With Versus 13 undergoing development struggles and the eventual rebranding to Final Fantasy XV, Square Enix would allocate the Type-0 dev team to the project development of the now-titled Final Fantasy XV. Regardless of whether or not Tabata and his team wanted to encroach on another group's project, and despite having a plan to work on additional type series projects, they were forced to put all that on hold because 15 was the priority for Square. However, as we know, Type-0 was allowed in HD release to take advantage of foreign markets such as North America, among others. Ironically, this HD release would make it out the door before 15 got into consumers' hands. Tabata was able to oversee the HD release's production. Although it was only a remaster of sorts, there were some additions made to the game, the most notable of which was a secret cutscene which appeared to show the character Ace. This was said to be a teaser for the next type project after Final Fantasy XV's release. More likely than not, it was to be Final Fantasy Type 1, but it was at the time nicknamed Final Fantasy Type Next. Tabata apparently had expressed interest in developing the type series into different thematic entries. He mentioned that he had wanted to move back to working on more type games after wrapping up his work on 15. The concept which Tabata was interested in was based around age-based games. If type 1 was to be more adult-oriented and mature, then type 2 would be more focused on lighter subjects and geared to younger audiences. The point of this was no doubt to spread out the field of subjects the developers could cover over multiple games. Not being tied down to a specific 
creative direction is something which would effectively allow Square Enix and its teams to create wildly unique and imaginative gaming experiences without having to mess with the mainline entries of Final Fantasy. Sadly, even under Tabata, the production of Final Fantasy XV did not go smoothly. The game launched but would receive updates and patches over the next three years to consistently improve it. After Square Enix posted a $30 million loss, which involved the Luminous Productions studio, Tabata announced his resignation from the company. He mentioned that he had lost his passion for the 15 project, and it's possible he was told that the type series would not be allowed to continue. This is merely conjecture, as I don't know for sure whether or not the higher-ups at Square told him this. Still, I like to think that if Tabata was as anxious to work on the type series after 15 as he originally said he was, he would have stayed on to work on those. Alas, I believe Square was not interested in pursuing this series and its potential. Tabata may have also been just burnt out of Final Fantasy, as he noted there were weeks of production on 15, where he and other crew members were only getting about two hours sleep a night. These types of conditions, coupled with a lot of Square's meddling with the 15 project, might have caused Tabata to suffer just franchise burnout. So, with Tabata gone, the likelihood of Type Next, or these other projects becoming a reality, it's not very likely to happen, soon or if ever. As for what Type Next could have been, we have very little to go on. There was the cutscene from Type Zero HD's release, it is definitely enough to pique one's interest, and I wish I knew more, but the only other information we have comes from concept art shown at a promotional event for Type Zero HD's release. It is heavily suggested through these images that the game would be leaning into a more feudal Japanese aesthetic, though it should be noted that Tabata had commented that no serious plans were laid out for Type Next or any of the other type games. There's no telling what the story or gameplay would have been like. For sure, it will be a hard sell to see any of these games become a reality, as the man who was pushing for it has now left the company. Every time I look back and consider what incredible potential the type series had, it pains me to see it wither on the branch of Square's abandoned idea tree. With every gaming generation, there are games which surprise us with how great they are, and there are games which never make it into our hands. It's in these situations where we can feel the struggle of game development insofar as it impacts us. This is through the games we won't play, the moments we will never experience, and the visions we will never know. Hajima Tabata is often not considered as someone who faced problems with Final Fantasy as Tetsuya Nomura did with Versus 13. The sad part of it is that Tabata wasn't trying to come into Versus 13 and usurp it. Nomura was, for whatever illogical reason, removed from the game. Tabata was an employee asked to fulfill a role within the company. He was asked to stop working on something he was passionate about and instead chosen to complete something he had not created. To let go of something you love in order to do what was best for the company is not a situation that many game developers want to be put in. But I admire Tabata for at least trying to make the best of it, and for the hard work of himself and his team, regardless of the result of the game. I wish they had been rewarded with the opportunity to finish what they started. But alas, the path led elsewhere and away from the type series. Thus, in the final hour, another great gaming concept was potentially left abandoned for good, with no clear sign of rebirth. This is the sad reality of the Final Fantasy type series. Well guys, that's it for the video. Thank you so much for watching and taking the time out of your day. If you liked it, consider hitting the like button and sharing it around so others can see it as well. Also, consider subscribing so you never miss out on any new videos as soon as they drop. Thank you so much for your time, I really appreciate it, and have a great day.